Welcome back to Trends and Friends. All week long, we've been talking about Women's Health Week, and we're continuing that discussion today with Dr. Martin Binks from Texas Tech's Weight Management Clinic. Today, we're talking specifically about that body image and the idea that there may actually be some perfect body. But we're here to demit that, right, Dr. Binks? We certainly are. So let's, let's just dive right in. I know, you know, summer months are coming up. I feel like naturally a lot of women start to kind of get on this bandwagon of, oh, I've got to work out extra. I've got to do a little bit more. Got to get my dieting going, get that summer body. But there is not really truly a perfect body for us to be working towards. What should we be working towards? Well, you know, body image becomes a, a touchy subject in the world of weight management. There are some people that think that we shouldn't ever talk about, you know, body shape and so forth and appearance because it's all about health. But when we talk to our, our actual patients, appearance is important to, to people, but, but it's, it's not about getting that unrealistic ideal that the world pushes. It's about feeling good about how you look and 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 enjoying your we all i think share that that idea that we want to look our best and what our best is is being defined by us because yes there are all of these different pictures and body images that we see on a regular basis if you're watching a you know television commercial or what have you and you start to somehow think that that should be what you look like and i have very young daughter so i'm, I'm constantly talking about uh, how you feel comfortable within your own body, whether you're, you know, made to be very thin or you're made to be a little voluptuous like myself. I've come to accept that. But for those who still struggle with it, how do they get to that point to really feel comfortable in their own skin, however their body shape is? Well, it comes to this balance between acceptance and change a lot of the times with people trying to manage weight because they're wanting to manage it for health. They want to improve the way they feel in their body. And so it's this idea of you don't have to hate something to, to, to change it or improve it. So becoming very comfortable with how you are currently, enjoying the positives and focusing on the things that you like as opposed to the things you don't like. And that's a, a very common issue. It's a magnifying glass. So the first thing you stand in front of the mirror, your eyes go directly to that thing you don't like about your body instead of looking at all the many things that you do. Interesting. That is a really interesting point because I've never really thought about it like that. But you're right. Your eyes do tend to go to the place that you want to change most. For some of us who are on the struggle bus trying to get through covid and being at home and being surrounded by friends and family, not necessarily in a socially happy way, but just because we have to be. Um, and so I tend to find myself munching on some things. How do we deal with that right now? What is it that's driving that, that munching, right? Is there something more adaptive that you could do? And often it's like, instead of grabbing the snack, it's going for a, a walk, gets you out, of, it serves two purposes gets you out of the house and so forth. But I, I think that just, we got to cut ourselves a little bit of slack right now. Um, perfection, I, actually I say that all the time, perfection doesn't have to happen, but doing our best to just keep moving forward. Okay, last question. If we are finding ourselves a little bit on the heavier side because we have been munching too much, what is that balance uh, to make sure that we are staying healthy? We're tackling the first things first, right? So we're knowing our numbers, we're being healthy, but we're not going too far over to the side of um, having some perfect body image. Um, how do we make sure that we stay within that balance? It's okay to want to lose weight for swimsuit season. I, I lived in New Jersey for a while and Memorial Day was like the bodybuilding target of the world to go to the beaches and, you know, but, Start now just making gradual improvements and you'll get there. You'll get to where you can be by the time your next goal comes along. If you try to force it too quickly, you're just going to do damage in the long run. So stay realistic, start moving in the right direction to the, within the limits that you have. I love how you make it sound so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that. It was a good topic. And I think it's, it's um, a good motivation for us to, to really start to think about right now. Um, thank you so much for being here with us today and thanks for the great advice. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back with more Trends and Friends.